Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the soft start circuit design and simulation in LDSPICE. Okay, so we will understand first why do we need the soft start circuit and later I'll run the simulation and I'll explain you how this circuit works. Okay, okay. So let us first understand that how, why do we need the soft start circuit? Let us first understand, focus on the uh, why part. Why do we need to design a soft start circuit, right? Let us understand this. So let us say, let us say you, you are driving any inductive loads or any motors like DC motors or something. So you might be aware of that inductive load or motor draws, initially draws very high in this current, okay? So that since since it the behavior of that particular motor or inductive load is inductive, so it will draw a very high in this current. So in order to in order to limit the very high in this current of inductive load or motor, you need to you need to design a soft start circuit. You need to give a soft start for motor or you need to give a a soft start for inductive load okay you have to minimize the inverse current otherwise what will happens if you don't minimize your inverse currents your switching device may get damaged in this case let us say our mosfet m1 is our switching device so let us say you have very high inverse current for short duration so that may cause the damage of your mosfet Okay. that may cause the damage of MOSFET or it can also damage your, your motor or something like that your inductive load right so in order to limit the induced current you need to design a soft start circuit soft start circuit okay so just just guys remember why part why do we need to design a soft start circuit for any motor application or any inductive inductive load okay now let me explain you how this circuit works and right so you can see here this is very simple circuit guys there is nothing here rocket science okay i haven't done anything here so you can see this is very simple circuit this is a very simple power supply switching circuit where i am switching our 5 volt from source and to load you can see and here i have used one mosfet to switch the power supply to the load right and in order to control the mosfet here i'm also using this transistor based circuit okay so mosfet gate is pulling down when this transistor is on and let us say i am driving this transistor q1 by using microcontroller pulse okay hope you understood you you are following me guys if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section i'll be happy to help you here right so so this is basically what i have given here is i have given like 5 volt power supply you can see here this is pulsating signal then 5 volt power supply and the t on time is 0 0.5 millisecond and the the period is 1 millisecond right all right so that is how then this is i have defined the power source here then it is connected to a series uh, limiting resistance which limits the current of this this device q1 or npn transistor and this is uh, connected in shunt to give the stable state to to the this this npn transistor right then you see then you see uh, with this this mosfet the source of this mosfet is connected to the 5 volt you can see here this is p channel mosfet and the drain of this mosfet is connected to let us say load but in this case i have used one micro handy inductor as a load okay so now what i did is so you see here this this c1 right c1 is connected between your power supply and your gate of this gate of this uh this mosfet 
and now you can see I have one more another resistance R2 which is connected to the collector of this Q, Q1 and you can see in between the C1 uh, C, other terminal of C1 or the or you can say the gate of this MOSFET M1 is also connected 1 1 resistance R1 the value for this resistance is 100k and the value for this R2 is 4.7k right so now you need to understand how you are providing the soft start by using this circuit okay so guys this circuit i haven't tested in the production but i made this for educational purpose okay so you can try you can try build your prototypes and you can test it right how this circuit is behaving right all right so let me explain now the the behavior of soft start circuit okay since you see this c1 is connected to the gate of this mosfet what will happen is you are you are not directly applying or you are since you see this c1 is fully charged here okay at when this this let us say at time t equals to zero when there is a no pulse you are applying from microcontroller right and you can see here this q1 is off at that point of time this c1 let us say c1 is completely charged here so this 5 volt appears across here i'll show you guys how in the simulation this 5 volt appears across here and as soon as you you apply the pulse you apply the pulse from microcontroller this the potential here is 5 volt is not gonna directly come down to 0 volt okay unless and until the potential here at the gate of this this terminal is not zero this mosfet is not going to be turned on as soon as the the potential at this gate of this mosfet is zero this mosfet will turn on and it will supply current supply voltage to the load okay so this this capacitor then this capacitor then is discharging by using this 100 r resistance and since you see the time constant of this uh, r1 and c1 you can you can consider the time constant of r1 and c1 t equals to rc let us say how much time it will take to completely discharge this capacitor okay so this defines the turns on state of this mosfet okay as soon as this c1 is completely discharged right as soon as this c1 is completely discharged you you see this mosfet is completely turned on otherwise it will turn on partially okay and it since it is not fully turned on it provides it provides a limited like it provides a limited current to the loads okay now let me run the simulation and show you the behavior of this circuit so go ahead go ahead this run button run the simulation okay let me tile window vertically and what you can do is uh, like uh, let me show you here the voltage at this source okay so this is the voltage here let me add a plot pen and let me show you the the load current you can see here the load current is one ampere let me zoom it bit guys you can see the load current is one ampere and let me add the cursor here so let me add the cursor now you see here your there is a delay of how much let me tell you there is a delay of you can see 45 millisecond when your mosfet gets fully turned on once your mosfet get fully turns on you will see the constant load current so this is how this delay is providing a soft start to mosfet soft start to load and you can see there is a no use in this current in this application so hope guys now you have understood how will you design a soft start circuit for your inductive loader the motor if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video